Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and our continuing series on the Mr. FPGA DE10 Nano Project. And we have another update to the Neo Geo CD Core. I keep making these videos, the core maker keeps updating them, and everyone is happy because of it. We now have about 60% of the library playing consistently on the core, and we have CD, DA, or Redbook Audio in some of the games. This is starting to feel like it's 75 to 80% done, and we're going to see how it's currently doing. Before I get too far involved though, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like and subscribe, that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we have a Patreon link down below as well. I blow all the Patreon money on dues fees for Neo Turf Masters. But Neo Turf Masters is working now, and the Neo Geo CD version is absolutely spectacular. I'm not showing you Scotland right now because that course is the devil, it is incredibly hard. But this is probably one of the best reasons to have a Neo Geo CD as an additional course for this game. It wasn't working on the previous core iteration, it would freeze in between the menu and loading up the course, but now the game plays perfectly. How do I know? Well, I played 18 holes because I only wanted to get like 3 minutes worth of footage, and of course this game is so good I got sucked in and basically wasted an hour of my day. That's not really true, anytime you're playing Neo Turf Masters you're not wasting time at all. It is that good, and it's amazing that it's now working on the core. Another game previously that I had some issues with loading and now is very consistent is the King of Fighters 96. This is going to have full sound effects right now, but currently getting the CDDA audio out, I have not seen it happen yet. Some users are reporting that it has worked, and sometimes you have to hit pause and then wait like 3-4 to four seconds and hit unpause that seems to sometimes make the audio work but i will say the game is playing exactly as is expected and everything looks and feels spectacular the sound effects are good as well now there have been some sporadic reports of some sound effects having some glitches or issues so if you do encounter that do not be surprised i didn't on my captures but a couple other people i know did talk about it so it is something that you might experience so just be aware of that but that just comes with the testing, of course there's going to be issues, and if you see some you should report them over on the Neo Geo Discord channel on the main Mr. Discord, because it is useful to know about those things. And you will see time and time again that sometimes the loading bar will freeze. Once that loading bar freezes, the game is going to crash with a disk I.O. error of 2. That's just a read error. Try to launch the game again, and 9 out of 10 times, it'll get past that. Samurai Showdown 3 here seems to have some sprite corruption, but it's the only game that I really noticed that had that, and people do know about that. It must just be using a different graphical mode that's not quite strung together yet within the Neo Geo CD core, but once you get in-game, everything plays exactly as you would expect, and you have sound effects. This is one game where that CDDA or Redbook audio isn't quite working as of yet, and you'll see that there was a little blip on the screen there that seemed a little more dramatic than I remember on Neo Geo CD, but leave me a comment down below and tell me was that normal or not. And you'll see here again at the end of the match, you're going to get a little bit more corruption. But honestly, it's playing great. All of the sound effects sound great and there's no lag in the controls. So all it really needs to happen is a few graphical bugs need to be patched up and that CDDA audio needs to come in and you would be getting 100% of the full Neo Geo CD experience on this. And that's more often than not an amazing arranged soundtrack. I get that most of these games are already on the Neo Geo AES and MVS core, but there is a lot to love on Neo Geo CD and the new soundtracks 100% contribute to that. So definitely don't discount this just because you think, well the game's already on AES. And like I said earlier, this is just something you're always going to see, so keep in mind that it doesn't mean it's not working. Just like with the PlayStation 1 core when it's under development, sometimes you just need to launch the same game twice. Because I got the same error with Pulsestar, I loaded it up again, and we got through perfectly fine. Now you might notice in some games you're not getting the audio, the music soundtrack. If you just do something like pause the game and wait 2-3 to three seconds, that will generally bring the soundtrack up if it's working. You're going to see here right now, I'll pause it, and I will unpause it, and now I have that background soundtrack, which sounds spectacular currently, so go ahead and listen for like 45 seconds, and I'll be right back, but enjoy.
Definitely sounds amazing. There might be a little bit of scratchiness in there here and there, but otherwise that sounds exactly like the Pulsar soundtrack I know and love, and trust me, I have played an absolute metric ton of Pulsar. I was just flying around here to see how long I could go without getting hit by a bullet, and it wasn't very long because this game is insanely hard. Now moving on to another game that did not work whatsoever until the core was updated, that's going to be Twinkle Star Sprites, and again it's another awesome game that is really good on Neo Geo CD because the loading times are quite quick on this as well just because it's not the most graphically intense or sprite based game around. You'll see here that we basically go right from the splash screen and a little bit of story into the match in and of itself. Now unfortunately, at least at this point in time, the pause to get the music playing trick is not working whatsoever, and this game has an absolutely amazing soundtrack as well. But the weird thing is, it is now working on the Neo Geo CD chord. This is one that didn't work whatsoever last time I tested it, and now it is here. And it is just impressive how quickly this core has been updated. We've only had it now for like 15 days, I think, since the initial core came out that barely did anything and didn't have any sound whatsoever. We've gone from it working with no no sound to sound effects and now having some CDDA audio and about 60 to 65 percent of the library working and hopefully this update system keeps happening so quickly because you don't know maybe by next week this thing could be done now I don't want to make anybody too optimistic maybe the last 20 percent will take six months you never know with these projects but honestly the progress that it's making so far has been nothing short of impressive and on the visual side, all of that layering issue is gone where we turn off the fixed layer to try to get some of the graphics to come up. I'll show you in a moment what that looks like on the new core versus the old one. But a lot of what's going on here under the hood is that all of the graphical effects have been patched up and outside of a few corrupt sprites in Samurai Showdown, I didn't see any issues whatsoever playing any other game. They looked exactly how I would expect. Now onto that topic, let's go to Metal Slug 2, an awesome game, and it's great on Neo Geo CD. And going into the version on the current core, you're going to see this just looks like Metal Slug. We have a full heads up display, we have all the backgrounds, all of the artwork going on. Everything looks exactly as you would expect Metal Slug 2 to look like. But if we go over to the same game from the previous core version, you're going to see that we don't have a heads up display and everything seems to be running a little bit slower. That's that fixed layer that we used to turn off to make sure we could see the artwork from the game. We no longer have to do that and that is amazing because the best sound in the world, the best control in the world doesn't matter if you can't actually see the artwork in the game. So the fact that this has improved is a big step towards getting this core buttoned up because now everything looks like it should. If I just did a screen capture of this and put it up on something like Twitter, you would have no idea that this wasn't done. It just looks like it should. And another great thing is this also has audio in it as well. Now it doesn't work all the time. When I first started the game, there was no soundtrack, but if you die to the point where you need to continue, it restarts the soundtrack and you'll have audio. And the audio sounds incredible as well. So listen for like 35 seconds and I'll be right back. I mean, it sounds exactly like I would expect, but unfortunately, as it loads into the next area, all of the soundtrack is gone, and pausing it and continuing the game did not bring it back. So if you lose the background soundtrack in games, that's just kind of how it works right now. Your mileage may vary. Now, a game that has no soundtrack but is working and is working perfectly well is the Super Spy. Kind of a guilty pleasure of me. I like some of the other games on Neo Geo better, like Cross Swords, but the Super Spy was one of those original games I played as a kid on Neo Geo, and I still have a very soft spot in my heart heart for it and it is working exactly as it would expect to on the Neo Geo CD and I really like the arranged soundtrack that this comes with. We don't have it yet but when we do this may actually be my preferred way to play this game and that's the thing. Sometimes on the Neo Geo CD it's actually going to be my preferred way to play the game 
but honestly, I don't mind loading times that much whatsoever. I know some people really hate them, but if once the Neo Geo CDZ BIOS is working and we get that faster load time, and if the core maker can improve the load times from there, honestly, you're talking like 10 seconds and it really doesn't matter that much. But go ahead and listen to the soundtrack for Viewpoint. Sounds amazing, but this game, I don't like it. Enjoy. Viewpoint is just way too hard and honestly that perspective always messes with me and if you die you go back to the beginning of the level with all your power ups gone, it's just a cruel game. But honestly outside of that it sounds amazing and this core is coming along amazingly as well. And I can't wait to do the next video on the next update because I feel like we're really close to just having a fully working Neo Geo CD core for Mr. But leave me a comment down below and tell me if you're excited. I'll be back next week with another Mr. video, I'll have videos throughout the week but yeah Neo Geo CD, almost here. Bye bye.